Shalom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm Dr. Israel Christel. Welcome to Green Pastures, especially this segment tagged Marriage Tonic. Now, last week we began with um, the first ministry of marriage that a husband and a wife should engage in, and that is the ministry of maturity. I may declare that to be mature simply means you are selfless as opposed to being selfish. You are willing to give and give even when you are not receiving. So in married relationship, the man must be mature and the wife must be mature. I use the illustration of uh, when a couple are having their meals. Now, the, let's assume there are four pieces of meat on, in the plate. And um, two are big and two are small. An immature husband will target the two big pieces, leaving the wife to take the two small pieces. A semi-mature husband will uh, target the first leg, the big, one big piece, and then another small one, leaving the same for the wife. But a fully mature husband will take the first small piece of meat and be planning to take another one that will be small, leaving the two pieces for the, for the wife, and vice versa. But you see, if the two of them are matured, you will discover that ultimately, <clears throat> the two of them will both eat a small piece first, and then the big one, so nobody will be cheated. In a marriage relationship whereby the husband and the wife are mature, there will be no cheating. We need to understand that in marital relationship, the man must be mature and the wife must be mature. Let me share my own personal experience with you. Sometimes in the year 2000, I traveled out of the country and um, I told my wife and uh, my children and those who are around me that I would buy them shoes. And I got the sizes of everyone, and my wife told me her size was 42. I went ahead and I bought the shoes. I came back from my trip. Everybody <clears throat> tried their shoes, and it was fitting for them. Only my wife could not actually wear her own. It was the first time in my life I would discover that there's a difference between 42 UK and 42 US. We did all we could. But there was no way we could increase the size of that shoe to match my wife's feet. I promised to buy another one in replacement when I have the money. At that time, she wasn't working. A month later, I went to a program in a church. And the pastor's wife, after the meeting, showed me some shoes. And I asked if she had shoes for ladies. But she said no, that she was only selling that of men. I look at his shoes and she offered me one that I love so much for a very, very cheap price. But I was about asking for the and he said, Pastor, you can take it at any time. You like you can pay. When I said I didn't have money. I was about taking the shoe and I remember that I promised my wife a pair of shoe to replace the one I bought for her, which I've not done. I refused to take the shoes home. I told her to keep the shoes for me. That whenever I have fulfilled my promise to my wife, I will have the conscience to come for the shoes. A few weeks later, when I had the money, I gave my wife money to buy not just a pair now, but two pairs of shoes. She was so happy. And immediately she left for the market to buy her shoes. I drove to the woman, keeping my shoes for me to pick my shoes. By the time she, my wife would come back, I had already arrived home. And as she was showing me her two pairs of shoes, thanking me for giving her double for her trouble, I quickly just bent down under the bed and I brought out my own second pair of shoes. We all rejoiced together and we were happy. Friends, 
Eve had brought that shoe home the other night, even though on credit, without fulfilling my promise to my wife, I would have wounded her heart. Therefore, there is need for maturity in Christian marriage. Maturity means you are willing to balance it. You must be mature. Somebody may say, but pastor, what if I'm mature and my spouse is not mature? What do I do? The answer is simple. Continue to be mature. Know that your display of maturity is not dependent on your spouse's maturity. Your exercise of maturity is not a matter of convenience, but your duty, your obligation given to you by God. One thing I know about maturity is that when you play your role to your spouse, God will use that process in the process of time to change your spouse as well. Because maturity in the process of time is contagious. If you truly display maturity to your spouse, your spouse cannot but learn from it. It is only a matter of time. So today, my chat to you, my brother, my sister, be mature in your marriage and the Lord will bless you. They are come your way next week. You are blessed in Jesus' name.